Hi guys and welcome back to 101 with Frank Pence and we have the smooth operator right here, the silent assassin, Mr. Nick Hurt. How are you sir? Good, how are you? You see I just made up a nickname for you. You like that? Uh, <laughs> All right, I good. think that's going to stick as well. So uh, like I say, thank you for coming to the show. For those who don't know you, can you tell, tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, Nick Hurt, um, three years varsity basketball, Dalton High School, mm -hmm. family grew up here, Aaron and Doug Hurt, my parents. Go to Dalton High School. Go to Dalton High. Shout out to Aaron, Aaron and Doug, correct? Yes, All right, that's what's up. So um, where did you grow up playing sports? You know what I mean? How old was it when you kind of figured out that, hey, I like this basketball? I uh, grew up here in Dalton. Mm -hmm. Went DPRD, uh, all sports at the rec. Yeah. Um, figured out I really liked basketball about fourth fifth grades when fifth I grade. really decided just to play basketball. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I know coaches change up a lot, so um, shout out some of your coaches coming up through the middle school and um, high school. You can talk about some of the coaches you remember. Mm -hmm. Middle school, definitely um, Mr. Eminette and yep. Coach Mack. Um, Coach Eminette, I remember Coach Eminette, uh, for real. So um, like I say, who inspired you? Was it your parents to say that, hey, you can, you're pretty good at this basketball? You know, who, was it coaches or who kind of inspired you to keep playing? Uh, definitely my parents. They mm -hmm. kind of, when I was younger, they made me play a lot of different sports. Yeah. And then as I grew up, they kind of let me make my own decision. Yeah. Um, and you lean to that heart with mm -hmm. huh? bass that ball. Okay, okay. so um, quick question. Favorite NBA player? Who you kind of, uh, who you resemble? Who you like? Kobe Bryant's all-time <laughs> favorite, of course. Kobe. Not another Kobe fan. Are Kobe you a Laker fan. fan? Yes. A current Laker a fan. A current Laker fan. Okay. It's kind of tough right now, though. <laughs> All right, I'll take my hats off to you then. So um, let's talk about some of the memories you had playing at Dalton High School. And um, not just this year. I know you've been on varsity for three years. Can you talk a little bit, of, a little bit about that? Yes. My favorite varsity memory from this year definitely have to be the South Cobb game just because a lot of the people didn't think we were going to win especially yeah. when they saw uh, the other team walking to the gym uh -huh. so. so yeah y'all turned up for that mm -hmm. um so actually at that game um was that a home game or was that a way it was a home game so the crowd was pretty big mm -hmm. had a lot of support so um, let's talk a little bit about early in the season so uh, Murray County um they got y'all in the first game you know um can you talk a little bit about that yeah, we had uh, some disciplinary issues mm -hmm. on the team. Some kids that didn't want to show up or yeah. did show up late to the game. So coach wanted to prove a point, especially with one of the uh, local teams. Yeah. Okay. So then that second time around, um, that's when you let loose, huh? Did you have about what, 25, 20, how many? I think I had 20, 25. 20, 25. Okay. So um, then let's jump to Northwest. Um, what happened then? It's always a good rivalry with Northwest. Uh, I love the whole town at the game yeah both both fan sides are very big we uh we took the first one and the second one uh -huh. but the first one they uh almost came back on us yeah i was, was at that game, game too i was at that game that was a good one right there so shout out to your your teammate your mm -hmm. summer teammate and you had to go rival pax and party i know coach was just on the show mm -hmm. uh can you talk a little bit about that rivalry you guys had Yes, uh, me and Paxton <laughs> and Tanner Boyd and a couple others have always played against each other just growing up, mm -hmm. and a lot of us played together and travel ball and stuff, so yeah. it's always fun. Uh, did you get, get to shoot him an elbow in the game? Nah, no, ah, come much. on, man. You got to get it. <laughs> All right, so um, look, after Northwest, let's talk a little bit about Sequoia. Um, a lot of people not familiar with that, but were they pretty good? Do you remember that? They've always been pretty good going back for like a, a while back because we used to maybe see them in the playoffs if we made it far and mm -hmm. now we're, it's like a regular home game re yeah. region game so. okay so um then alatoona as well that's another name a lot of people don't recognize but you guys um i think you beat them both times correct no we actually lost to lost them. both okay They're, so did they have some studs on there they had some know? really good players really? they had one kid uh considered one of the best players in north georgia oh so man okay tough. so that's good to be able to see go up against mm -hmm. you know what i mean so um south cobb you know that's a good Sounds like a good school. Um, talk about that again. We, we got a W on that, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Definitely one of the bigger games uh -huh. of the season. Ringgold. Um, how was that one? We played them at Ringgold, yeah. and we beat them barely. It was kind of um, an off game. The night before, we had a really big game, yeah. and we had just traveled. So Okay, kind of and like I said, this picture here, um, I was there as well, Dade County. Um, with you guys here, um, the silent assassin putting in work, what happened right there? 
they were a pretty good team. We didn't know much what to expect from them mm -hmm. going into it. Duffy had told us a little bit about them. They had some shooters. Uh, definitely one of our better games in the beginning of the season. Like, really got us rolling. Yeah, so this other picture here. So we call you the silent assassin, but it looks like you're saying a little something right here. <laughs> it looks like you're saying a grunt or something like that. But uh, what game was that? you remember that? Uh, I think that was... I want to say that was against Cass, Cass last okay. year. So they always have some quick little guards. They have some the quick head. guards, yeah. Okay, so um, talking about your, you guys' schedule, I know you travel on that yellow bus mm -hmm. up and down that road right there. I know um, you're a pretty intelligent guy. Um, how is it that you kept your grades up, or how is it that you did that while spending time on the court at practice, going out to eat, you know, traveling to Atlanta and back and forth? How, how is it that you did that? Definitely you just got to set your priorities straight. Know that if I have to leave at five o'clock to get on the bus and go to Altoona or South Cobb or something like that. You mm -hmm. get your work done before, and just getting everything in line. Get it in line. So how many? Say it again. Having your priorities in line, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So um, what's up next for you? you have any workouts? Um, what, going to college? What's going on? Definitely going to college. I'm not sure if I want to play yet at mm -hmm. the next level or not. I've got a Maryville is talking to me a little bit, yep. so. Okay, so uh, you know what you're going to major in? Uh, most likely finance, finance, somewhere in the business major okay, yeah, business okay. category. I don't know why you want to do that, because finance, you have to look at those numbers all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a headache waiting to do. That's why you, you might be good at that, the silent assassin of finance. <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. So um, NCAA predictions, who you got? Got to be either Kansas or Arizona. Kansas or Arizona. Okay, you heard it first from the man right here. So, um, like I say, congratulations on that high school career, man. Appreciate it. All right, so, um, you know, you're a rookie on the show right mm -hmm. now, right? So, um, you're getting ready to do some big things, so we got to have some candid footage of you, all right? All right. So, um, if you've been following the show, you know we play a little games oh, yeah. here. You know we play a little games. So, uh, Mr. Hurt. We're going to have to break you in with a little old pie face game, all right? All right. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, uh, you want to go first? All right, let's go to Ricky. Right. Ooh, first shot. <laughs> <time. laughs> the first one. Thank you, got the setup. We did not rip this <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, hey, why you have the whipped cream on there? Any words of motivation to the kids watching? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely um, just stay in school and do as much as you can while, you're, while you still can, I guess. While you still can <laughs> stay in school. So um, how can people follow you on uh, social media? You, you can watch it out there. You're good. <laughs> uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. I'm pretty much on it all. Uh, Nick Hurt or uh, Nick B. Hurt on Instagram. Nick B. Hurt. Nick Hurt on Facebook, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, man. Hey, I appreciate you being the sport, Anytime. man. <laughs> All right, so uh, like I say, one more time, where's the motivation to the kids that's going to grow up to be future Nick Hurts out here in the world? What you have for them? Uh, definitely keep your priorities straight and make sure you're hanging out with the right kids. Just hanging out with the right kids. So, hey, that's it for today. Hey, sorry I had to take you out, man. Uh, it's all right. You know, <laughs> sorry about that. But like I say, thank you again. Anytime. All right. So guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break.